But my God, Harold Ford Jr., can you please let the Memphis in you come back out? I, I just saw this and, bro, what the hell happened to you? Y'all, wa watch this. I got white dudes for Harris right here, and I'm not going to put it on for one reason. I don't want to mess up my hair, but two, I'm not for Harris, so I'm going to give it to you. A white dude for Harris. You are white, right? You're white. I'll, you give, have? I'll give it to my father-in-law. Okay. You wear that. You, you yeah. wear that, Harold. I give this as a gift. Thank you. And you put it on your beautiful okay. head. I appreciate that. But like, you will wear it. So you're not a Harris supporter. I am. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to mess up your hair. Look at it. I, I'm a huge Come on, Harold. Put hair. the hat on. Joining us now is University President Dr. J. Oh. That was horrible. That was, I mean, they, they, he, he goes on that show and they uh, buffoon him like that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> all, all the time. And and he sits there. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I get a hat to my, I get a hat to my father-in-law, because he's married to a white woman. But you bet that racist bastard Jesse Waters, just well, hell, you are white, right? Wow, that's that's all, y'all. Hey, 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 Rollin', roll listen, it it would take Mark, it would take Mark, it would take Mark, it would take Mark. you might have to walk rolling through the history of the Ford family in West Tennessee, particularly Memphis, and how this is so on brand for a junior, and so to speak, after his father was a congressman for many years coming out of Memphis, the Ford family, passed the baton to him by, uh, Mark, what was it? I'm trying to remember, uh, Harold Ford Sr. withdrew from the the, 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 the campaign before before any, well, he, re, he withdrew from the campaign too late for anybody else to jump in. So they just basically put up signs and members that said, Junior. Donald, but how Ford Jr. didn't have a silver spoon in his mouth for decades. But but that's all over for Harold Ford Jr. Anybody in Tennessee, that ain't even news in Tennessee when it comes to Jr. But but I ain't got Harold Sr. Let no white man clown him like that, Jeff. I'm gonna be. I mean, uh, Greg. I'm calling you your brother. I'm. I'm getting my Tennessee confused. That's all right. <laughs> yes, sir. I ain't got. We all know each other. Austin, Asheville, Tennessee. Yes, sir. Um, um, yes, sir. I don't have Harold Senior letting himself be clown like that. That is embarrassing and disgraceful. Oh, I Harold, agree with you. You right. Harold on that show no more. He really, really doesn't need to do that. Y'all, young people, parents, show that video. You never want to be in that position. White. That man said, aren't you white on television? I mean, that's just nasty. He knew what he was doing. Oh, that's it's disgraceful. And I'm sure some of his grandparents, I know some of his family rolling over in their grave. That is horrendous. Oh, no, you going to subject well, you yourself know, to that kind of thing? Well, let's understand something very clearly here. It's easier to be the person that goes along with this nonsense than it is to be the person that stands up and says something. Right. It's, it's easier to be the Roy Wilkins than it is to be Malcolm X. And everybody knows that mm. to sit there and get your little check from Fox News and get clowned is easier. And to keep your mouth shut, it's easier than to, to say something live on the air, which is what he should have done. I'm sure we're going to hear some story later about how he confronted Jesse Walter Waters in the in the back. Well, why not do it on the air? He clowned you on the air. So you should say it on the air. But, you know. When it comes to this entire thing, I have to wonder to myself, why is why is Harold Ford on Fox anyway? Why is he on Fox? Forget about today's event. Why is he on Fox? Well, 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 well you got to rem you got to remember that was some allegation. Remember, he was on MSNBC Morning right. Joe a lot with some allegation with, I guess, with one of the Wall Street banks he works with. And then it took him off the air and then they didn't renew his deal. And so then he goes to Fox, but it's like, and he's, bruh, have some, have some self, again, have some black consciousness. You, you let no man just sit here, uh, especially when you know that Jesse Waters is a racist asshole. Right. I mean, I, you gonna sit here, as, uh, uh, he, he, um, you kick in. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'll give it. I, I'll give it. I'll give it to my to my father in law. Man, okay, anyway, let, let me just go ahead. 
when you talk about blackness and what happens in black culture, we're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in Black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Checks and money orders go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037 0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 